it's been almost uh, two days since uh, this event has started. Uh, Mr. Ashwini Vaishnav and Rajiv Chandrasekhar also uh, spoke a lot about Prime Minister's initiatives to build uh, an environment for a conducive environment for semiconductor industries. Where do you use yourself, Vedanta, at the moment? See, since you are going to project yourself as the uh, or you are projecting as as India's first chip maker right. officially. Now, as much of a visionary as Prime Minister Modi is, uh, Modi is, I think even our uh, chairman has been very visionary to start looking at this industry several a decade ago almost. So we have been looking at this from 2011, where we've been talking to Taiwanese players, Korean players, and we even have our factories in Taiwan and Korea, which uh, we have acquired by the way of Avanced Tech in 2017. Uh, so I think our our um, thought process was that India needs this. Uh, whether uh, you know whether we have to do it now or you know in the previous years, it can never be later because it's a burning bridge. Hundred billion dollars worth of electronic imports. We are importing hundred percent right now, and we have to make sure that this does not become a four hundred billion dollar number in five to six years. So it is now or never for India, and I think it is very active push from our chairman and from Modi ji to kind of get this on the ground and make sure that the companies coming here have an ease of doing business, a way of making sure that they are, they are profitable here but also they are creating impact and they are having the quality of the product that comes in. How difficult or easy were your talks with Apple and Foxconn when you entered into this sort of an agreement that you will be <coughs> entering the chip? Apple is not directly involved with us because Foxconn is a supplier. Of course. We were talking with Foxconn. Uh, it, uh, the talks with Foxconn is, uh, you know, it has been going on for a while. Uh, they believe that uh, Vedanta has experience in high-tech manufacturing. Right. And in a place like India, we know how manufacturing in India works. We know operational efficiency, we have our own engineers. So they think we are a very strong player for them to come in and, and build this with us. The partnership was very natural to say that we complement each other right. in terms of what we bring to the table. And I think that really worked. And more than that, it was Chairman Anil Agarwal and Chairman Young of Foxconn really had that initial camaraderie and friendship and they trusted each other. Right. I think that conversation was good and, and all the working teams below that are, are going to be focused on what they discussed and what they want this to be as a vision. But my, I have often seen in the past that when, when companies pivot or when the companies diversified from oils to metals to as difficult or as... Uh, a, th a thing which is little more complicated in a, in a country like India, chip making. Uh, is it? Do, do you find that, like you also mentioned, that uh, you're not looking at RR more than about 12 to 15 percent overall? Do you think that it's, it's a challenge to work in environments like this, where uh, generating uh, such a high amount of volume through the workforce, either in Bombay or wherever the land you may be looking for in Chhattisgarh, Jharkhand, Madhya Pradesh. Workforce is going to be challenged generating and uh, managing such sort of... No, very good question. I think there are two parts to this. I think number one part is diversification, right? We are, by the way, one of the most diversified conglomerates that is there uh, with a successful EBITDA of six to eight billion dollars right. in the industry. Having said that, your diversification should always follow the theme and vision of the whole company. Our vision is we are a resource company and we want import substitution in India to happen. Let it be in oil and gas, producing our own metals, mining, all of it. Right. This is a very natural part in electronic components that we are making sand to grind. We are taking base silica, we are making that raw material, we are making that glass, we are making that semiconductor chip. And that will bring India into the whole independent association of just having a, you know, its own brand. Mm. So that I think is where we are going with this diversification because we have, in glass, we are already got everything, right? We have right. advanced track, we have optical fiber, it's number two in the world, advanced track is number four in the world. So mm. we have that aspect. Right. For more such fine stories and video reports from field, subscribe to our channel, The New Indian.